beautiful Hesburg Library as Touchdown Jesus watches over us all. Hello and welcome back to Notre Dame Day, everybody. I'm Justine Ward. Our next guest is a lawyer, author, and leading expert on eminent domain and condemnation. He's a 1963 graduate and current member of the Notre Dame Law School Advisory Council. Norm Mattione is a property law specialist who practices in San Jose, California. He's the author of Prairie Man, The Struggle Between Sitting Bull and Indian Asian James McLaughlin. Norm, thank you so much for being with us here today. And tell me, how did you get interested in this realm of legal studies? Well, you ask a question that would take up all of our time. <laughs> but uh, the aspect I think that's probably most important is that I'm a Californian. Uh, born in California, product of the state, and a student of the state. And at some point in time, having traveled back and forth across the Midwest, coming to Notre Dame and going home when I was in law school, I thought, hmm, there must be something more than the Oregon Trail and the Transcontinental Railroad. And so that got me thinking and reading in terms of what were the impacts of, of those passageways to the West. And the impacts were profound. They were profound on the first people of this country. And I think that was, was a catalyst in continuing to read in history. And the Great Plains are really the, the cauldron in which the conflict between Anglo-Americans and the Native Americans took place. So that's where I, I come from. And what inspired you to write this book, Prairie Man? Well, part of it was what you alluded to. I'm a condemnation lawyer. I represent people whose land is being taken by the government for some public project. And in reading uh, about Native Americans, and particularly Sitting Bull, I came across the quote. And the quote you will find on the staircase of my office below a photograph of Sitting Bull, it says, I wish all to know that I do not propose to sell any part of my country. That was a answer that Sitting Bull gave a Jesuit missionary who sought his signature on a treaty in 1868. And it really set the tone for the story. And the book is really the story of his reservation years where he's not getting along well with the United States policies for Indians on the reservation. He's in a conflict with his agent, uh, James McLaughlin, Catholic, Irish, Scotch, um, who subscribes to the, uh, the policy of the era, assimilate or vanish, or in some missionary terms, kill the Indian to save the man. Sitting Bull rebelled against that. Do you, would you say that the average person knows less about Native American history than they should? I definitely would. <laughs> uh, having written a book and, and attempting to publish yet another book, I think that's a, a big misstep for the average American in knowing about the history of this country. And tell me about that second book. You have a new book forthcoming, Ghost Man Conspiracy. Ghost Man Conspiracy is looking at the last 30 days of Sitting Bull's life. And it takes place in November and December, 1890. And what, what is interesting when you look at that period of time is the newspaper coverage that was given to two things. The ghost dance movement, a religious movement of revival for the Native Americans actually across the country, but it played out in the Dakotas in terms of Sitting Bull. And Sitting Bull uh, tolerated the religion. He wasn't the advocate of the religion, but because he was always a bad Indian, having been the, the leader of the demise, if you will, of Custer, Little Bighorn, he was centered on and uh, played up in the newspapers. The, the newspapers gave great coverage to this in November and December. And the government, 
the conspiracy aspect of the story is the Indian Bureau, the Army, Congress, all centered on suppressing the ghost dance religion and taking Sitting Bull out. When he was killed, December 15, 1890, the next day the Chicago Tribune had four columns on the front page regarding his death, his life. The book attempts to answer the question, why? Interesting how journalism can really play into that dynamic. You see the same thing play out today. Yes. Well, if you want to read more about that, your new book, Ghost Man Conspiracy, is coming out soon. And your current book is out, Prairie Man. Thank you so much for coming on here today. We really appreciate it. And we know you were very active with the Notre Dame law community here. So. All right. Thank Thanks. you, Norm. Thank well. you.